There are five types of reactions I wish someone would have told me about. I had three teachers tell me about it. There are five types of reactions I wish I would have paid attention to. Welcome to Flim Dog Science. I'm Caleb Fleming. Today we're going to be looking at seven examples of the five types of reactions. What are the five types of reactions? Synthesis, decomposition, single replacement, double replacement, combustion. First, synthesis. What is synthesis? Synthesis is when we take two things and make them one thing. Let's make hydrogen and oxygen water. Sodium hydroxide. Add water. It gets hot. Why? Check out our video on sodium hydroxide. Now we need to make our hydrogen gas that we're gonna combine with the oxygen in the air. Aluminum. If you'd like more about sodium hydroxide and aluminum, check out our video on sodium hydroxide and aluminum. That reaction filled this balloon with hydrogen gas, H2 gas. Now we're gonna react this gas with the oxygen all around us. The reaction of our hydrogen gas with the oxygen is going to be our synthesis reaction as they form water. Try to do that one without flinching. So what happened there? The hydrogen gas reacted with the oxygen gas to make H2O. They combined in synthesis. Let's do another fun synthesis reaction. What we're gonna do is combine the iron with the oxygen in the air to make iron oxide. We just need a little nine volt to get it started. You know what happened to the mass there? If you're not sure, check out our video on steel wool. The iron combined with the oxygen together synthesis. That is a very cool synthesis reaction. Second type of reaction, decomposition. Hydrogen peroxide is H2O2. What we're gonna do is split that apart into hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. We won't collect this one, but see if you notice the evidence of reaction. I'm gonna use potassium iodide as a catalyst. It's gonna help my hydrogen peroxide split, but it won't be involved in the reaction. You see the evidence of this reaction? We see the cool color change because we added the potassium iodide. That's not part of the reaction. It's just the crystals dissolving. But we have the H2 and O2 gas bubbling out of here. Bubbles are evidences of reaction. What type of reaction is this? H2O2, one thing splitting into two products? Decomposition. Heartburn tablets. Antacid tablets are often calcium carbonate. And what we're gonna do is take this calcium carbonate, that's one solid, and we're gonna split it apart into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas. What's the gas coming out of here? <laughs> and, Oh, a lot of liquid stuff too. But what's the gas? Carbon dioxide. What type of reaction? You got it. Decomp. Third reaction, single replacement. Copper, aesthetically pleasing coil. Silver nitrate. What's going on inside the solution? The copper, which is solid, is getting replaced by the silver, which is aqueous, and the silver is gonna precipitate out of the solution. We're gonna be rich. I ran that three times, check it out. The silver precipitated it on top of the copper wire. The copper was replaced and is floating around. It made the water a little bit blue. 
single replacement. Fourth type of reaction, double replacement. Look at this. It's incredible. It's salt water. Let's use some of that. We'll talk about it later. Another project. This is sodium chloride solution now. Now we're gonna mix it with silver nitrate. The silver and the sodium switch partners. Now the silver is stuck to the chloride as this white solid precipitate, and the sodium is floating around aqueous with that nitrate. Now I have sodium hydroxide solution and copper sulfate solution. Last double displacement. The copper in our solution is going to replace the sodium and they're going to switch partners. Double displacement. The copper and the sodium switch partners. Now we have this awesome copper precipitate of copper two hydroxide, and then we have this aqueous sodium sulfate still floating around. Fifth reaction, combustion. We're gonna be using propane, which is a three carbon chain with some hydrogen, reacting with oxygen to produce CO2, in H2O, stereotypical combustion. There's the five types of reactions. Do you have a personal favorite example of those five types of reactions? Let me know down in those comments. I'd love to try it. To get back in the lab with me and do some more combustion, check out this video on combustion that'll pop up somewhere. Subscribe, like, comment, and hit that bell.